so guys so I am wearing the same exact outfit that I wore yesterday but I have on short shorts so that's that's happening also um, I woke up this morning and there was a shard of glass a very very sharp shard of glass my dad in my bed yet there is absolutely no glass in this room whatsoever at all so I I, I how Everybody fucking jump! What's up all you handsome girls and you beautiful boys? I am here to tell you guys some things that I don't know for sure. There's a lot of things going on in my life right now, including the fact that my head is in a bandana, and I don't think you guys have ever seen me wear a bandana, but I don't think I look cool at all, so, yeah. Gang gang, I don't know the symbols anymore. I used to, and I'm 18. What? I just wanted to let you guys know that, um, of what I'm doing. So, um, a lot has been happening lately, and I decided to make a stream of consciousness, vid consciousness video because, um, I've seen a, a very admirable YouTuber do it, and I love her very, very much. Um, I'll probably link uh, my favorite video. A stream of consciousness video in the description. I can think of one right off the bat. I'm sorry I'm looking out the window. There's somebody walking down the street and I'm wondering if I know them and that if they're gonna come to my house and try and talk to me. I'm that self-indulgent. I'm wearing this bandana because I am currently doing a twist out and I'm gonna leave it up like this all day. I was only, I'm supposed to take it down this morning but I'm not going anywhere so why do that when I can just spray it and make sure that it's gonna stay curly and then take it down tomorrow and actually do something with my life. Um, also, if you guys want to see how the process began, because people do that, um, uh, my Snapchat will be listed below because I posted everything on my Snapchat, which I was very proud of at the time, but now it's just like, if you guys see that, I will be very, very embarrassed that I'm happy, so do with that of what you will. Also, I finished, oh my god, the mouth is going to be off. Hold on. So, I haven't been able to make as many videos as I wanted to, because my phone is becoming a very large piece of shit, and um, the mouths are becoming off when I, when I record, and I can only record for my internal storage. I cannot use my removable storage for some odd reason, because it's freaking stupid. And I have no idea what to do. So, there's a bunch of lint flying around. Go away. So, um... I forgot what I was gonna say. If you didn't know that I have been, um... If somehow you guys didn't know, I have been cleaning and making this room up so I can sleep in it. And, um... I put my curtains up. Hold on, I'll show you. And as you can see, they are definitely crooked. <laughs> they are crooked. <laughs> like a lot of people think that my life is perfect and that I'm happy. Um, I am really excited though because I did sign an NDA to um, with somebody that I really, really admire and that I really, really love and that I've cared about for a really long time since I met them and they are just amazing I have no idea why I was just connected with them so much but um I worked with them and previously with a talent agency here in Oklahoma it's also Oklahoma and um they were just phenomenal and I signed an NDA um for the both of us to work on this project that I wanted him to act in direct and possibly help me write um, it is a six episode miniseries, more or less, maybe it'll be five, um, but I can't really tell you much about it. I have to change the name for it because, um, copyright business might get in the way of that, but I am so excited because I am the full contender of everything that has to do with this, and I cannot wait till you guys know more about it, so, 
yeah <laughs> um i'm currently uh, uh sharing a room with my mother and we sleep in a full-size bed together um not that bad i don't really care that much i've been sharing a bed with my mom since i was like i'm not gonna say that's just embarrassing uh this is the first time we shared a bed and i am a full-grown adult so <laughs> uh yeah but a majority of the things in this room are not even mine and um that's kind of sad the things the dirt the clothes the everything everything that's collecting on the floor is hers and um Hold on. Literally everything you see on this bed, none of it is mine. Except for that cover right there. That cover over there is mine. Also, you can see my acne is very... It's very evident. I don't know. All that crap on that chair is hers. Literally the only thing that was on my... Oh, that, that was mine. Literally the only thing that was mine is this shirt and it was sitting on that sh that rocking chair right there And I just put it on so I could do this video because I am dysphoric like all oh, get out Yep Yeah, but I'm really really happy with The life that I have now and the things that I'm doing and the person that I am and the things that I'm um, Accomplishing as the age that I am the things that I want to do and progress but the thing that annoys me the most is that so many people, so many YouTubers that, um, because I, I don't know, I'm starting to get a lot of recognition and I'm starting to finally just, like, be recognized and loved and seen in this world as an entertainer. And, um, a lot of different YouTubers message me, um, or DM me on my Twitter and my Instagram and tell me, um, the kind of videos that they want to make and the kind of content that they want to have and the things they want to do and who they're like and the, and the YouTubers that, that um, they kind of correlate with and the things that they kind of represent are that are the same as these other YouTubers and I'm just like that's your problem a lot of YouTubers want to be like other YouTubers and you can't do that you just can't that's why that's why I don't like YouTubers like YouTubers there are a lot of YouTubers that I admire and that I care about I did not pick my nose I simply did that we will do a slow motion and you will see I didn't pick my nose on camera I wouldn't do that I'm scratching my genitalia though that tells you a lot <laughs> I feel like too many people try and be too many people and it kind of pulls away from who you really are and what you really want and I don't feel like you can try and be somebody. You can't really try and create content like someone or try and be like someone because that person is so unique and they're so themselves. That's why they get the recognition and they get the subscribers and love that they do because they're just themselves. They're not trying to be anyone. They're not trying to do anything else that other people do. They might get inspired and um, create a video sort of like somebody else did, but I don't think that you should try and say like oh i'm like this youtuber and i'm like that youtuber no just say that you are who you are and you create the content that you create and god knows where that'll go if you believe in god if not then what do you believe in <laughs> i don't believe in gender so you know not really a Christian or a Catholic, definitely not a Jehovah's Witness. Why are we talking about religion? We never do that on this channel. Sorry if the mouths are off on this video and it really irks your nerve because I know there's like that 0.5% including me that do not like it when the voices and the mouths are off on a video. It's really really annoying and debilitating. I hate it. It is like, just kill me now! But, um, I apologize for that. My camera is being really, really weird and I don't know what to do about it. So my phone won't record because of overheating. What the, what the, what the frick? So, I love you guys so much. And, um, yeah, I'm really, really happy about my room. You know, even though, um, my curtains are crooked. And I also broke, um, when we were moving, I broke part of the bed by moving it, um, with my little brother in here. Well, as we were turning it, we heard a cracking. I told him to stop, and he continued to keep going, and as we kept going, the bed fell off. 
So now there's like this wooden part um, that does not match the rest of the bed. But it's not visible, so it's okay, you know? Nobody, nobody will care, right? I don't. You got this white, great ivory bed. Mm-hmm. Right, you got all of that. And then, bam! You got one brown part of the entire bed that is actually holding the whole thing together. There's a lot more white problems that this board has to get used to. And that was not a metaphor. That was an actual society fact. Go follow the Black Lives Matter page on Twitter. Yeah, that'll, that'll help. That'll help end racism very much. Love you guys so much. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I don't know where to put my outro at on this now. Bye.